Hey everyone, I'm Actual Dracula, and welcome to Covered with Scorpions. Covered with Scorpions! For the week of May 24th, 2023, I'll be looking at some of my favorite covers hitting the shelves this week, including five A covers, five variants, as well as four additional categories. And we'll kick it off with my first standard A cover pick, and that is Thor issue 34 with this cover by Nick Klein. We've got an epic battle between some of Marvel's heavyweights, Thor, Thanos, and Doctor Doom, three of my favorite characters on one cover. Of course, this was going to make my list, and Nick Klein is solid as always with this one. Next up is Hallow's Eve 3 and this cover by Michael Dowling with Spider-Man, whose spidey senses are tingling as Hallow's Eve creeps up on him like a Halloween ghoul. Great atmosphere and excellent spidey pose on this cover. My next pick is Daredevil and Echo Issue 1. This cover is by Phil Noto. I have a bunch of great Phil Noto Daredevil covers in my collection and this would be a great addition. I love his style a lot. DD looks great here, but it is Echo that really stands out for me on this cover. Next is All Eight Eyes Issue 2 with this cover by series artist Piotr Kowalski. I did not read issue one of this yet, but I do know it is about giant spiders, as evidenced here by these human corpses wrapped up in silk and stuck to this big old spider web. Awesome cover. I love the title font as well. My final A cover pick is The Neighbors, issue 3 by Miguel Mercado. I really need to start reading this series because so far it has had some phenomenal and creepy covers. This Mercado piece is one of my favorites yet, so we'll see. Hopefully the art and story inside lives up to it. Uh, if not, this series is probably worth picking up for the covers alone. My first variant pick is another cover for Hallow's Eve issue 3. This is the Joshua Swaby variant. This is incredibly similar to the Dodson variant for issue 2 that I picked last month. Uh, but you know what? That's all good. That was a great cover and so is this. I will take them both. Next is Fury Issue 1 and the Mike Del Mundo variant. I love this cover with Fury sitting on the buildings that also spell out his name. Uh, this almost feels like a Batman cover to me, but I think that's because so many of his covers feature tall Gotham buildings at night. But you know what? It works for Nick Fury as well. I especially like the use of color on this cover. It's a really nice piece. Next, I've picked Hellcat Issue 3 and the Betsy Cola variant. You guys already know I'm a sucker for these solid background covers. I love all this yellow. I will take that all day. Thank you very much. And the image itself is great as Hellcat gets ready for action at her vanity. And this almost has a Golden Age feel to it. Overall, just a really great cover. My next pick is the Sandman Universe, the Dead Boy Detective 6. And this is the Alex Ekman Lawn variant. Seeing a hole right through someone's face like that is always unsettling. But I like that. That's exactly what I want for a book about ghost detectives. Another excellent creepy variant for this series by Ekman Lawn. My final variant pick is The Neighbors Issue 3 and this Inyuk Lee cover. Right. Now, you see what I'm saying about this series having amazing covers. We got a creepy witch with some of our favorite things, some mushrooms, a toad, and a white snake, all looking fabulous as they have been rendered by the super talented Inyuk Lee. I think I'm going to have to pick this one as my favorite cover of the week. Now let's take a look at four additional categories, homage, wild card, WTF, and vamp cover. And this week was a light one for homage covers. So light, in fact, uh, that I couldn't really find one. Uh, it's possible there were some out there, but I didn't recognize them as such. Uh, I'm sure there were probably some homage covers for, uh, say, store exclusives, but I don't really include those uh, in this show as I want to, to just highlight covers that most people are able to pick up at their LCS. Uh, anyhow, the closest thing I could find to an homage uh, was this, the Exiled Issue 4, the Tony Kent variant, which is an homage to Aliens. Now, I'm not sure if this is based on a specific image, uh, but obviously we have Wesley Snipes here among the facehugger pods and the alien type font. Uh, I'm not, uh, it's not my favorite cover, you know, it's okay, uh, but I much prefer the Terminator homage that Tony Kent did for Issue 3. Next is my wildcard pick, which is Lord Button Chops, Squire Inquire for Hire by Cameron Hathaway. Uh, now this has a man, not just a man, but a lord, a lord with a butt for a face, and he has mutton chops. 
and he's for hire. My WTF cover pick is another cover for Thor issue 34, and last week my WTF pick was a Spider-Verse variant, and it is this week as well, the Spider-Verse variant by Javier Garon, and just like the X-Force cover I picked last week, this has nothing to do with the artwork. I like the artwork, it's just the costume design. So, uh, okay, it's Thor, and he's got a web pattern on his cape, but then he's got this uh, helmet. This helmet is insane. I think it's hilarious. If I was a supervillain and Spider Thor showed up to fight me wearing that helmet, I'm pretty sure I would die by puking my guts out from laughing so much at his helmet. Uh, but you know what? The more I look at it, the more it has grown on me, and I would not mind if Marvel made this Thor's permanent look. Uh, I say they should go for it. Finally, my vamp cover of the week is Vampirella vs. the Superpowers Issue 1 and the Rebecca Puebla variant. This is a gorgeous Vampirella cover by Puebla, aka Subversive Girl. I love the pose, the composition, and that it's black and white with that splash of red for the costume. I love everything about it. A beautiful cover. There is a virgin variant and a fully black and white version available as well. So that will do it for this week's episode of Covered with Scorpions. As always, guys, feel free to leave a comment below letting me know uh, which of these picks you liked, maybe didn't like. Uh, maybe there were some covers this week that should have made the list but didn't. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Covered with Scorpions. Oh, yeah.